What's going on peeps here? This is XBuzzerPant and we are going to be doing a desktop side chats tutorial. Now what is different about this? We are going to be recording our screen and showing you how to do this. I felt you could just do this over commentary so I thought we'd do this actually in real time. Share my screen and you guys can see exactly how to do it. Now what are we going to be doing today? We are going to be showing you how to make an HD video. Um, an HD video is not one that takes up any bars, not one that uh, just does anything that it fills up the whole screen, makes the video look good, not pixelated. And this is a PC version, so it's not Xbox or PS3. You might have to look up something else, but this is completely free if you want to do this. Alright, so the first program you're going to need is your recording software. And what I personally used while I did not have any money was a program called MSI Afterburner. And this is a overclocking system that actually can work as a screen recorder. And it is really good because it does HD settings. Now, if you go into settings over here um, and you go to screen capture over here and then next to it is video capture. And what is this is is basically you can video record anything and you can choose what frame size what you can choose whatever you want and it will record with little to no lag and pretty much uh, it's a great recording software now what I recommend doing is using the either MJPEG compression or uncompressed and then uh, these are just some settings I recommend you use use 16 by 9 720p or 16 by 9 1080p those are what makes your whole screen full and good um, if you need to do 100% uh, I'd recommend it but sometimes I'd recommend going down or lower depending on how many frames you get uh, frames is the whole key the higher the frames the more the less lag the lower the frames the more lag so if you get a little like lower f frames uh, just kind of adjust some of these settings but this is the recording software I'd recommend it's absolutely free and records in HD so once you've downloaded that I'd recommend going into your uh, whatever you're going to be recording let's just use um, our Minecraft for example uh, I'm gonna go into it and uh, show you how it works um, get this turn it on and wait for it to load and then you just press whatever your hotkey is and you record so let's get out of that and show you what you need to do next alright guys so this is the second part to how to uh, making your videos and what you're gonna need to have is this next program is Windows Movie Maker pretty much everybody has it um, it is a pretty generic thing if you don't have it uh, I don't know what to tell you but uh, just go and try to download it on Google or something this also works with you can use um, any kind of Apple product it just it's just your movie editing software um, uh, I don't know anything else to say about that. Alright, so you got your clip. Um, you saved it somewhere. Go and find your clip. I usually make a, a generic folder to where I find my recordings. And then I go from there. So get your clip out. Here, let's just find a really short one. This one is around, let's just say this 15 second one. Get this one and drag it into here. So drag it in and sometimes it takes a little bit to prepare the files for being used but uh, hopefully that won't be too much longer and some settings on your Windows Movie Maker to make it look actually like you want to is going to your aspect ratio right here change it from uh, 4 by 3 which looks like that to 16 by 9 because that's where you'll see the whole uh, screen so definitely recommend using 16 by 9 on your Windows Movie Maker and that will make it a lot better alright so you got your little uh, recording right here here I'll show you I think this is a failed alright this is part three yeah that was a failed recording that I had but um, yeah let's just get back into the video um, you have your video right here and it is all looking nice you have it nice and uh, in there now it's time to edit it now you can do a couple things you can add some music to it here we'll go on to my music file up here I use some copyright free music do not use anything that's copyrighted say something like a, uh, a Rihanna hit or something like that um, let's just put our desktop side chats in here and uh, we'll just place it right there and uh, if we can get this going right here a little bit right there and you can see 
All right, it's, it's in the background right there. And to actually make it a little bit more towards your video and a lot less towards your audio, just come over to this audio mix and put all the way to the video to where it's just a little Part bit three. like that. That's how this game starts. Let's see, by. right there, you can see it's a lot less. Um, uh, God, I can't think of it. It's a lot less vibrant vibrant on the music and a lot more vibrant on you. You want a little bit more narration than you do music. You don't want your music overpowering. And uh, that's pretty much it for your editing. You know you can add an intro, you can add an outro. This is my intro. Um, I'm going to go right here. And I put it right here. I just saved it as a folder and here it is. Uh, that's kind of like the basic intro. Uh, which I had it and God that was pretty overpowering um you can add that and then the outro for me an outro I don't think you can really do it with Windows Movie Maker because you need something called picture in picture but if you do know how to do that put it in the descriptions what I did was I put it in my downloads and all I did was get a uh, where is it it's somewhere over here it's near the end uh, <laughs> um, somewhere over here. Here's my old one right here. What I did was I added this and put um, some videos in these videos right here. All right, so now we're gonna go into part three. I'll see you there. Okay, guys, this is part three to the series on how to make your video. Now that you got it all edited, nice and uh, good to go. Uh, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to publish your movie. Um, what I recommend doing is it's a save movie. It's been a while since I've actually used this. Oh yeah, save your movie to a high definition display, and this will what it will do. It will make it an MP4 file, which is the best file you can use. I definitely recommend it like that. Um, save it to a general location. I'm going to save it to my uh, where is it? My YouTube folder. That's where all my recordings go, and. Uh, just go ahead save it and this will take a little bit of time depending on your computer for me I have kind of a fast computer so it doesn't take long at all um, it's pretty easy and this will just make your whole edit into one video so um, you're gonna have your nice edited out video up on there it shouldn't take too much longer um, it's editing out pretty fast it's only like a 32 second long clip uh, Hopefully we can get it done. Movie, Movie Maker is really good for making everything simplistic and uh, easy to use. Um, we're going to be, for this part three, we're going to be showing you how to actually render your video and then post it on YouTube. Alright, so here we go. Almost done. Let's wait. Yeah, it's it's going as fast as I can count. Alright, 99%. Alright, so your video is now done. I'm not going to play it. I'm just going to close it and close out of my movie maker. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do our last and final step and we are going to post this to YouTube. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, here we go www.youtube.com and we're going to go to upload and then you can do one of four options. You can publicize it, unlist it, private, and schedule it. And scheduling is, is is one of my favorite things. You can schedule it for later and make it a lot cooler. Um, I'm personally going to do uh, public and then what I'll do is just upload the file over here. So go ahead and go in and find your, your nice awesome video you just made that's in super nice HD for free. Um, if I can find it, here it is. It should say so and so dot mp4. So go right here. Um, title it whatever you want. Uh, let's just say um, test recording. And that should look just as good. You get some default settings, some tags, everything else. You can upload your custom thumbnail. You can do everything and you should be good. Just wait for the video to upload and um, you should be good to go. And it will be live at that place and you should have your video up and going. So that should end up, that should wrap up everything on how to make a YouTube video for free HD. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Later, peeps.